Hi, this is Mardi once again and welcome to my channel. Our topic for today is another Philippine history, the Battle of Mindoro. The Battle of Mindoro was a battle in World War II between forces of the United States and Japan in Mindoro Island in Central Philippines from December 13 to 16, 1944 during the Philippine Campaign. Troops of the United States Army supported by the United States Navy and U.S. Army Air Forces made an ambitious landing on Mindoro and defeated Imperial Japanese Army forces there. There was no significant opposition from the Imperial Japanese Navy nor from the Japanese Army and Navy Air Forces except for kamikaze as suicide attacks on American ships. Noong ikalabing lima ng Disyembre, nagsimula ang pagsasalakay sa Mindoro. Ang maaliwalas na panahon ay nagbigay daan sa buong paggamit ng American Air at Naval Power kabilang ang anim na escort carrier, tatlong barkong pandigma, anim na cruiser at marami pang ibang sumusuporta sa mga barkong pandigma laban sa magaan na paglaban ng Hapon. Dahil sa hindi sapat na airstrip facility sa Leyte, ang 503rd Parachute Regimental Combat Team ay dumaong sa Mangarin Bay kasama ang landing force sa halip na tumalon. The destroyers provided fire support for troop landings and anti-aircraft protection for ships in the transport area. Two LSTs hit by kamikazes were abandoned and sunk. Sa isang heroic action, ang destroyer na USS Mwali sa ilalim ng command ni Commander Walter M. Foster ay sumabay sa nasusunog na LST-738 upang iligtas ang mga tripulante. Ilang pagsabog sakay ng LST-738 ang nagdulot ng pinsala kay Mwali habang siya ay humiwalay. Some pieces of shrapnel were two feet square and they put four holes in Molly's body. Gunner's mate Ed Marsh reported that a one-gallon jar of Vaseline from the LST cargo splattered on one barrel of his twin 40mm Bofors AA gun, providing unwelcome lubrication. Molly suffered one fatality and 13 wounded. In addition, Wally also rescued 88 survivors. There were 1,000 defending Japanese soldiers stationed on Mindoro. Naroon din ang 200 na nakaligtas mula sa mga barkong lumubog sa Mindoro patungo sa Leyte. The defenders were outnumbered and outgunned. Humigit kumulang 300 Japanese na namamahala sa isang air raid warning station sa hilagang dulo ng isla ay nakipaglaban ng mahigpit sa 503rd Company. Ngunit maliban sa paglilinis, ang isla ay ligtas sa loob ng 48 hours. The defending Japanese forces on Mindoro suffered some 200 killed and 375 wounded. The survivors fled into the jungles where they lurked till the end of the war. The 24th Infantry Division lost 18 men and had 81 wounded. By the end of the first day, Army engineers were at work preparing airfields. Two were completed in 13 days. These airfields allow U.S. aircraft to provide direct support for the Luzon invasion. The Mindoro airfields were also used by long-range bombers, especially USAAF B-24 Liberators, to attack Japanese shipping from Formosa to Luzon. These bombers also operated over the South China Sea and combined with the Navy to blockade shipping between Japan and Southeast Asia. 
Thank you very much for watching. And according to Robert Carey, real heroes are all around us. They face challenges with fear and grace.